Welcome to my let's play of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion with the OOO mod installed. In the last episode I went in a long and painful battle in Nenalata to help Umbakano try and do something with the Aeliad crown and he got cre he got absolutely and utterly destroyed and I had um, a heck of a time getting out of there in one piece. This time around, I'm going to have a slightly more sedate task. In fact, I will go to the actual... Right. Deep Scorn Hollow. According to the mysterious message that's been delivered to me, I've inherited an underground lair called Deep Scorn Hollow from a long-lost relative. Situated at the southernmost point of Cyrodiil, south of Leowin, I've marked its location on my map. The next opportunity I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. So that's where I'm going to go. Deep Scorn Hollow. I've arrived at Deep Scorn Hollow. I should make my way inside this hidden lair. Yes. There's a bit of Nurn root there. I'm just curious. Is there another bit of Nurn root on this island? I can never remember. There is. Okay. Now to get to Deep Scorn Hollow currently, I need to dive under underwater. I just want to check. I have a necklace of breathing under the sea. I've also got a ring. It does the same thing, but I don't really need the ring if I'm using the necklace. So let me dive underwater. And let's see if we can get some light down here so I can see something. Now where do I need to go? In this gap here, there's a hidden doorway. I've discovered a long forgotten journal with deep scorn lair. I should read it to learn more about this unusual structure. Apparently a dead slaughterfish. And Greg Greywind's journal. After reading the journal, I've learned I can acquire everything I need to restore this place to its original state from Rowley Erdwolf at the Waynet Inn just inside the Imperial City. There's a whole lot of stuff in here I'm not going to read. And I always get confused in this place of which direction is which, but it's got underground caves, a victim's loot chest. Generally, it's to do with the worship of Sithis, and Sithis doesn't appear to be a very nice deity, or something to worship. As you can see, I've got part of an arm there. And down here. There doesn't appear to be much. Light. That goes to the Bastion, or whatever the Bastion is. Okay, big sort of room. That goes to the Shrine. Down at the bottom of here is a nice big Shrine to Sithis. Ikor, Ikor, Basin, surrounded with skulls. And over this way, it's just a wooden door. With what looks like a sleeping quarters. go up this way, I think it's this way. Right. There's a trap door up to a secret entrance, which is right over here. The, where I, that little island over there was where I actually dived in the water. But here's a trap door, so I don't have to. So if I look at my map, as you see, it's just on that edge there. Because it'd be a bit inconvenient to have a wonderful secret base where you had to dive underwater every time to actually get into it. So 
So, having done all that, wandered around it, I've got lots of cash right now. So I can travel to good old way. Let's hear it. And I do know that the man I'm looking for to sell me stuff operates out of here. I know because I've sold him stuff in the past. And there he is. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. I got what you need. You need something special? Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. Okay. Let's do business. Right. And let's see where my haggling. Ah, 60%. Okay. So I will just start buying hey. all this stuff up. That's a good deal. And the Ichor of Sithis. Ichor of Sithis. You're a fine negotiator. That's Another satisfied. Yes. And that should tell me I've now purchased everything Rowley Erdwolf has available for Deep Walk Scorn Hollow. Walk in the shadow of Sithis. So I can now jump back there. Rather than swim down that there again, go see if I can find that trapdoor. I think it's somewhere over here. There it is. Now, Deep Scorn Bastion now looks like this. It even has a man wandering around. Sithis be with you, brother. At your service, master. I have a dark minion. I can tell him to go murder. Yes, master. Whatever you say. I don't know who I can tell him to go murder, but apparently I can go tell him to murder someone. All this wonderful stuff, including a jewelry box. I don't know if it's got anything in it. Ah, it's got a couple of bits of jewelry. Alchemy stuff, nothing particularly great. Uh, that is Nern Root, so I'll take that. Daedroth teeth actually have a use for those. A sleeping coffin. With a pile of books next to it, quite cute. I go down to the shrine. Now, pour some blood in it. And it's now active. I don't know what use I'd get out of that shrine. Doesn't seem like a very nice place, this, so I'm not sure I want to. Especially when I've got a minion that's willing to go out and murder for me. I've got some books. A couple of scrolls, which I can always come back and pick up at some point. Gold, pearl. Not like I'm short on cash right now. Let's face it, I just outfitted the whole of this place. Without blinking an eye. I've got a cupboard in here. Because I don't need the paperwork anymore. I'll dump all the paperwork of all the things I've just purchased. There's another base that's available to me. down this way. Oh yes, apparently I have a prisoner. I can't wake him apparently. I'm a nice person like that. I have a prisoner. I'm not sure what this area is. Font of Renewal. Okay. Down here. 
Okay, yeah, that's where I just came from. Deep scorn hollow. That way I just was down that way. Yeah, that's where the prisoner is. Prisoner, font of renewal. Yeah, deep scorn hollow, I think that's probably the way I came in originally. Yes, it now has all sorts of that's chokeberry vine. I'm not entirely sure what use chokeberry vine is. I have some alchemy ingredients down here as well now, apparently. One of which I find quite useful. Not that I've needed to do any alchemy recently. But you never know when the urge might strike me, so I'll pick some of it up because it will always renew. That's where I came in. And this apparently now has a practice area. The foot locker. Let's take the gold out of it. That's the victim's loot chest. A painting with blood all over it. Quite a nice place this. If you're into deeply disturbing stuff. Some clams with a flawed pearl. And the alternative way in. One and out. So that is Deep Scorn Hollow. My wonderful new home, away from home. In all its terrifying glory. That would be an oblivion gate over there on the right. So I'm really not that sure I want to go near. Seems a tad risky. Just checking nothing's following me. I don't trust people who use oblivion gates. Not oh, my athletic skill. I've gone up. Oh, the sky's turning red. Not my fault on this gov. And that is pretty much that. Now, just for the sheer heck of it, I'm going to end this episode with a little bit of a scrap just because I haven't had one. One of them ran away. Take your battle axe and your stuff. There's an oblivion gate over there as well. Just left one oblivion gate and found another one. I assume that bandit's not coming back anytime soon. One of the reasons I wanted to end it with a scrap was I wanted to get my block skill up a bit higher because that would help me level up. Apparently these bandits aren't going to oblige. So a bandit up here still, good. <laughs> that is helping get my block skill up. Oh, he's firing at me. I can heal. I think it'd run out of arrows eventually. That's what I was looking for. Now 
Now, if I can find a potion. Don't know why I'm looking at that page. It does something with my. That'll do. Seem that keen to have a fight anymore, strangely enough. Oh, missed. Stand in one place for a millisecond, I'm going to fire a fireball. Oh no, you're coming down to me, are you? Me for a second, there. Remember what key I was meant to press. I'll just take that stuff just because it's there. There's a chest over here. Nothing in it. Right, I need to find a bed so I can level up. So I'll travel to Battlehorn Castle where I know there's a bed. And it's not raining and grey and miserable. Also, repair everything. Sometimes it's useful to have a nice little little fight when you're that close to getting to the end of a level, and you know if you concentrate on one skill, you will level up. So. I will sleep for an hour. My strength is at now is at 100, and my endurance is now at 87, and my luck is now at 70. So I really don't need to concentrate on strength anymore. So for the next level, I think I'm going to concentrate on agility and probably willpower. Agility being sneaking, security and marksmanship and that's probably the one I'm going to spend my most time on. And what's the other one? Willpower which is alteration, destruction and restoration. Particularly restoration I should try and get that out to at least 50 so I can cast better spells of healing. So, for now, I don't particularly want to be wandering around with heavy armour. I probably want... I'll go with that one. Uh, Firewalker Greaves, Greaves of Life Detect... Uh, protection and where's my shoes? Ward of Elements. Oh, I need a hat. Because otherwise, I look like that, which is pretty much wearing a pair of underwear. You can't really see it that well from there, but that's what I look like if I'm not wearing any armor. As if I put on some light armor. Oh, I forgot the shield. There's a shield in here. Shield of Storms and my shield, which is Ebony. That, that should make... Actually, it doesn't make me any lighter because I'm actually quite... I have a bonus wearing heavy armour because I'm so good at wearing heavy armour. This actually acts as being lighter than it actually is. That was the other thing I wanted to do while I was here. I'll jump down there. It may hurt a little. <coughs> I now have a bear, a clan fear, a wolf, a minotaur, a mountain lion, an ogre, and a troll all on pedestals. 
And the reason I picked up those teeth from Deep Scorn Hollow was that is the last statue that... Okay, stuck in the wall. This woman. What is it, Sarah? Create a trophy. What can I do for you? Make a stuffed Daedroth. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. And tomorrow, on this wonderful pedestal here, will be a Daedroth. Right, that's where I'm going to end this episode. I hope you found it interesting and liked seeing Deep, Deep Scorn Hollow. And hopefully I will see you down the road for more of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion with the OOO mod, inst OOO mod installed sometime in the near future. Adios, hasta la vista, vias con dias.